Hi, I'm Sarah Fitzsimons, and I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. I now live and work in Madison, Wisconsin. And I'm here to share some work with you. You can see in front of me is a large quilt. It is called Pacific Quilt. And it is actually the first quilt I've ever made. Um, I'm a sculptor. I work in a lot of different materials. And I've gotten really into quilting in the last six, seven years. I got the idea for this piece when I was flying over the ocean. I had been living and working in Lisbon, Portugal, and I was moving back to the US, back to the Midwest to take a job. And I was looking down at that blue ocean below me and the blue blanket on my lap, and I thought, I really want to make a quilt. I'm moving back to the Midwest. I'm moving far away from the ocean coast. I want to make an ocean to have with me in my house. About a decade and a half ago, I made a work, a sculpture out in Los Angeles where I built a bed and I installed it in the ocean. So it anchored it in the shore under the sand. Um, there were bed posts that had welded anchors. And so then at low tide, I'd put it in and then when the tide came up, the ocean came up and flooded the bed and covered it. And after it was in the ocean for a couple tidal cycles, I took it home and slept on it for the next couple years. And so I see this as a bookend piece in some ways. There's this interest of bringing together domestic space and um, large natural space, this idea of bringing the ocean into your own living space. And I think I would never have made this piece if I wasn't living and working in the Midwest. That great remove from the ocean, having lived there for many years on the coast, because I wanted to remember it, <laughs> that it existed, and um, just to bring a small bit of that vastness into my everyday life. And there's a beautiful quote by the oceanographer Sylvia Earle, who speaks about, you know, even if you've never been to the ocean, never seen the ocean, the ocean touches you. I decided to make um, it as accurate as I could. So I got a lot of maps from NASA databases, historical and contemporary. And then all of the applique patterning you see is based on the bathymetry or the depth. So each color shift represents 1,000 meters deeper, going from light to dark. And all of the quilting lines are surface currents. And I was able to get some surface current data from NASA to model out those currents. And it was really important to me that each part of the quilt, how it was put together, had, had meaning in that way. I have a map in the gallery for anyone who's interested. You can pick it up and sort of orient yourself. And I should mention there's no land represented on the quilt. This is all water depths. So I haven't stitched in islands, but you can see where the islands are just by the, the color shifting. There's a few other supporting pieces in the installation. I've included a couple sketches. The smaller sketch is a preparatory sketch I did before making the quilt to test out the method, first of all. So this, this piece on the wall is an overview of the entire Pacific with all of the currents swirling and just two color tone. And then next to it is a darker piece, also the Pacific, that includes both surface currents but also deeper thermohaline currents or kind of heavy, deep saltwater currents that creep along the bottom of the ocean floor. So it includes those two different types of currents at different levels. And um, some scale models, because I actually made this quilt to be used. I had the intention of making it and then dragging it into our bedroom to use it so that as a bookend piece to that bed I made in the ocean, I'd have to sort of wrestle with the ocean every night when I went to bed. And of course you can see it probably was not going to fit into a normal size bedroom, and in fact does not fit into mine. And these scale models on the wall show you the perimeter of different bedrooms I've had since I started making this piece. This is actually my, my current bedroom in Madison, my daughter's bedroom, and then um, the smaller room is the room I, I had when I started making the piece. So just to give some scale, the size of my bed, the size of the quilt, and the size of the bedroom. Thank you so much for coming to the exhibition, and I hope you enjoy the piece.